In this video, I'll show you how you can set up an email campaign on system.io. Now this is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial that if you follow everything, you should at the end have an email campaign set up and people should be able to automatically opt in to your funnel and be sent out emails. So here's what we need to do. So first we need to go to funnels and if you haven't already, you're going to need to create a funnel, right? You're going to need to create a landing page. Now I have free here, but I'm going to use this Clickbank one as an example. This video isn't going to be a step-by-step -step video on how to build a funnel. It's going to be assuming that you've already got your funnel built and you just want to set up your email automation, right? If you want a video on how to build a funnel, I've got a video on that and I'll leave it linked on screen. Anyway, we want to go ahead and for the sake of the video, we'll just go to view funnel and I'll show you what this funnel is. So earn $30 per hour reviewing gaps, start your first job today. This is a funnel promoting a ClickBank product. So it's an affiliate funnel. And when people enter in their first name and email here, I want to be able to capture them and get them added to an email list and then automatically be able to send them emails. So here's how we do that. What I'm going to do is go to edit page and we're just going to make sure that we have some settings checked. The first things first, when you're trying to set up an email campaign, obviously you need to capture people's emails. So you need a form input for their name and a form input for email and you also need a button. You can go and add these if you scroll down and go to form, you can then drag in a form input. But the chances are you've probably used a template with these already on it, right? You just edit in a template. So you've probably already got these inputs. So now you want to click on the bottom where it says get started or submit. And you want to make sure that this says send form. And do you want to redirect users after contact? You want to make sure this is on to next step. But the most important one is going to be send form because you want this form to be sent and added to your email list. So once you've made sure those changes have been made, go ahead and exit out of your funnel. Then you need to go over to emails and then campaigns. And now you can create your first email campaign. So I'm going to just call it uh, Clickbank because that's what my funnel's called, I think. Then we'll click save. So now we've created a campaign. Now we need to add the emails to the campaign and we need to connect the email campaign with the funnel. So first, let's add the emails. First, click on your campaign, then go to create in the top right-hand corner, and now you're creating an email, right? So write out your subject. So maybe I wanna say, you don't want to miss this. Send a name is gonna be my name, send an email is my email. I would recommend you write emails in the classic editor. You don't want them to be all spammy, you want them to go to their inbox. Now you can write out your body text, hi, and then if you click space and you go to substitute variables here, you can click on first name. And if you've collected their first name, it will address them as their first name. And then obviously you would write your email. You don't want to miss this. The best way to make money online. Obviously draft your email, link them to wherever you want to link them. And obviously you would create the contents of your email, right? And then once you've created that email, you want to go to save and publish. It's going to then say this email will be sent after. Just ignore this. You want a delay before sending the email, right? So do you want the delay? Do you want this email to be sent out one hour after they enter in their email? Do you want it to be instant? Do you want it to be one day, two days? So you can configure this. If you want three days, type in a free here and put it as days. If it's your first email, obviously I'd just put it so it goes out one hour after they sign up or after they enter in their email. Then go ahead and activate this. And this will be then sent after they join your email list. Now we can exit out of this. Here you can see the delay is one hour. Then you will go ahead and create many emails for the coming days. So set an email to go out two days or, and then three days and then four days and then five days after they signed up. That way you can go ahead and speak to them every single day, right? Now we just need to connect our email campaign to our funnel. So you want to go now to funnels, click on your funnel. Then you need to go to automation rules, add rule and funnel step form subscribed. This means when someone clicks on your button, right? On like gain access button or next step button, the button that's going to be next to your email and name. So when they click on this, we want to add action and we want to subscribe them to a campaign. And the email campaign we want to subscribe them to is one we've just created, which in our case is called Clickbank. Save rule. So now when they click subscribe on the form, they'll be subscribed to your email list. So you go to emails, campaigns, this is the email list they'll be subscribed to. Now you can just go ahead and test it. It should be all working fine. So go to your funnels, go to the funnel you wanna test and click view funnel. So here's your landing page. You wanna then enter in a first name and email. 
So enter in the email and the first name, click get started. And obviously you would have configured your own funnel, right? But all we're interested in is making sure that this has been connected to our email campaign. So now we go back to system.io. If you go to contacts and then click on contacts, you can see the email has been registered here. In one hour, it should then show a one here because it means that I've been sent that email. And also if you go to contacts and you click on the email and you scroll down, you can see what email list they're subscribed to. In our case, it is the ClickBank email list. So that's how you can get everything set up. I hope that video helped you out. It was just a practical run through for those that already are a bit familiar with system.io. But let me know in the comment section below if you've got any questions.